I kind of want to ride that. Welcome to Descanso Gardens, guys. I felt like being out in nature today and taking my camera. And for some reason, I also brought my tripod and my slider. So there's going to be a lot to carry as well as, you know, obviously your water because it's the summer in Southern California. Now, the one thing that is very important that I brought today, filters. Peter McKinnon two to five stop, variable ND, and the Tiffin circular uh, polarizer. So I only brought two lenses with me today. First one is the Tamron 17 and 28 2.8, and the second is the 70 to 180 from Tamron 2.8. So let's see what we're looking at. Ooh, dead flies. I kind of like the look of that. I don't know why. That's actually really cool. Dead bees in a web. And I actually want more in depth. So I'm going to get to an F6.3. Brighten this up. So right now I'm just kind of like warming up on things that I can kind of control and manipulate. Down the railroad shot. Because, you know, this isn't a normal size railroad. Let's see if that worked. That's really cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna get a nice wide. Let's get this. I like doing things like this where, you know, clearly it's a bench that's not being used. So let's go into a 28 right here. I want the bench again. I want the top of the bench. There we go. I've got a fly on me. Get off. I'm sure if California was not in a drought, there would be a stream running all up and down here, but we are very much in a drought. What could I frame up here? I feel like, let's see, maybe at 28, 200, bring down that brightness just a little. And let's go to a three stop. I'm gonna get her right in the middle. I don't know why this opening kind of speaks to me. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Here we go. Come on, give me people. And got him. Good depth on that one. There's a bud right here. Okay, boom. Yeah, of course. Just like in the yeah, uh, setup. Yeah, just like. Yeah, sure. It's not the best. But... No worries. And one, two, three. Oh. Yeah, let me know if you need another. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Appreciate it. Always help out with those. I'm liking how this one is in the sun and all of this is in shade. Ooh, a leaf hit me. So when you guys are out here in a public area or running around just with your camera out, like going to do stuff, do you actually have a point to why you're out? Like, do you have a shot in mind or a feel or an emotion that you're going for that you have that purpose? Or do you just shoot and do you just take kind of everything you can and experiment? I'm kind of in the middle right now. Like I had an idea. I knew I wanted to be in nature, feel the fresh air and, and be around nice breeze and dirt and leaves and flowers and people. Cause why not? Other than that, had no clue. It's kind of why I brought everything. So the train came all the way back already. So actually this might be a great spot for a little train spotting. <laughs> Get it? That's a lot of spider webs. And even though I was next to one earlier, um, I'm I'm very arachnophobic. That is not a joke in the least. Uh, I have cried being within a foot of a spider that was half the size of my pinky nail before. Spiders and I, no. Do, do me a favor, look up a tarantula wasp. <laughs> yeah, that is the extent of how badly God knew he messed up when he created spiders. So he created a tarantula wasp. Those are some wonderful colors. I'm sure a lot of you will be asking me why, oh why, dear Ian, are you wearing a long sleeve shirt in summer? Well, one, there's a breeze out. Feels beautiful. Two, I'd much rather sweat more than burn. And let's face it, it's kind of hard to grip your electronics equipment when you got sunscreen all over your hands and then your arms and then that sweats and it kind of bleeds onto your gear. Just messed up. I hear water. Let's go do that. Oh, a squirrel, a squirrel. squirrel. So there is a little waterfall right here. It's tiny. So I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna go right there and get some motion of this. Kinda don't wanna set up my tripod just for this one shot. Five minutes later. Now set up on my tripod. I changed the drive mode to have a timer, still single shot because after I push the button, you know, there's gonna be a little bit of jitter. So let it calm down for two seconds. 
Still at F4, but we want a lot more movement. So I'm gonna do a quarter of a second, and I like my settings of where they're at. So I'm gonna go deeper into the variable ND, and it's not looking too bad. See how this turns out, and go. I think what I wanna do is switch things up. I wanna set out my slider and get some movement on this this one little spot. I'm content with just experimenting right here for a good little while. Let's let's see how it works. Okay, so that is it for the time-lapse sequences. Uh, no, I'm not gonna show them in this one. That's gonna be in a separate video that I will have coming out very soon because there was just a lot of sequence changing back and forth that ended up taking a lot longer than I thought. But you know what, that's what experimenting is for and it was a lot of fun. For now, I have switched to my lenses. I am no longer on the 17 to 28 from Tamron. I am on the 70 to 180. So, let's do this. I switched it up to the 70 to 180 because this way I can kind of get into conversations from people. So I'm kind of done with nature, at least for now. I'm gonna be focusing on the interpersonal stuff and getting into conversations with people. I am on an A7R4 and I want to get close. So I'm going to switch to crop mode. So this essentially becomes a 105 to 270. Oh yeah, much, much closer. There we go. Is there a turtle? There is a turtle. That's kind of cool. Polarizer's kind of doing work. Ah, there it is. Hello, friend. I'm not going to do anything to you. Don't worry. I'm going to try and get this dragonfly right here on the branch. Don't move, bud. Don't move. Damn. Where you go? Let's find a different area. <laughs> awesome, the train. I'll tell you, that is really hard to freehand. 180 when you're on crop mode because it's essentially 270. The hard part is doing this incognito because everywhere people are just turning and looking and you don't want to be conspicuous. Right now, I'm just trying to hide the fact that I know that they have a baby, so they might be a little wary, trying to make it look like I am taking a photo of a bird so they don't get creeped out. That's really difficult. Taking a shot of a family with obviously a baby or like a really young kid, they're very protective of them, and they should be. That's, that's you know, their offspring. They need to be able to take care of them and make sure that they're safe. So it's very hard to get clear and clean photos in that kind of a realm, especially when you have a giant lens because they feel like you're kind of creeping on them. So those you definitely have to be inconspicuous, make it look like you're taking photos of something else so that you can, you know, when they look away, get a shot of like them being a family. But this way you, you get something real and that's the important thing. All right, so I'm gonna get this couple. Let's see if I can get them. Yes. I think I got a good one. I might be able to get a better one from a better spot somewhere soon. Let's see. Yeah, those ones were good. What other conversation can I be a part of? Kids messing around are always fun. You get some great action. Let's get this couple over here. They're just kind of meandering through, not really doing much, but you know what, walking is walking. 
Let's turn off crop mode. So I'm not really sure where I'm going right now, but away from the, I guess it was known as the promenade, I want some different areas. I'm just following paths. Like I hear people to the left, but that's where I just came from. I don't know why this tree is just screaming at me to take a photo of it, but I gotta back up. There we go. That'll do pig. I love it. You're a tiger. You're a tiger. Now growl for me. And I'm spent. Come on, who knows the reference? I know you know it. Yes. Yes, and I'm spent. Kind of like this couple right here. <laughs> These kids are messing around on stage. Let's catch this guy who's catching something else. Is this a gay couple? I think so. They're cute. Cute Indian family. That's what I want to do. I'm going to get one more set of this waterfall. And then that'll be it for the day. One hour later. That's it for me today, guys. I got done with those time lapses. And like I said, those are going to be in a separate video that I will have come out later on down the line, hopefully very soon. But for now, I'm fucking hungry and I need more water. Let me know in the comments if you liked this setting, you know, garden walking, garden photography. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.